We legit came out here like, oh, it's raining so hard in Los yes. Angeles, you guys. Like, it literally is buckets pouring yeah. from the sky. Blood and we warnings. thought we got two people, and those two people are going to come sit with us. They're going to be here with <laughs> yes. us. But everybody came today to be a yes. part of Thank you. Our live yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. You guys got That's up so awesome. early. You man through the rain with us. Thank you so much. So I'm going to ask you, are you ready for some live girl chat? Yes. Okay, so head over to the Real Daytime's Instagram page to join in on our combo, and the hashtag Girl Chat Live is what we use so that we can hear from you, okay? Yes. Now, before we get started, we have a very exciting announcement. Yes. As you know, the Real is nominated for Outstanding Talk Series at this year's NAACP Image Woo! Award. Woo! It's such an honor. We're yes. so humbled by all of the support. So thank you, every single person who got to your phones and you voted. Thank we can you, finally you. announce that the exciting news that the four of us will actually be hosting the non-televised <laughs> awards and ceremony this Sunday night. That's huge. I know, it is. I still can't believe it. It'll be our first time all together yes. hosting an award show. show. It's major. I'm excited. And yes. the thing about the NAACP is that there are two shows. There's one that's going to be televised, mm -hmm. but there's so many awards categories. That, and categories that they have the non televised, so that'll be covered. So make sure to tune into the NAACP Image Awards this Monday, January 15th at 9, 8 Central, live on TV One. All right? Yes. You know? Awards. Tamara, yesterday you told us you met Mariah Carey at the I In Style did. Golden Globes party. Yeah. And guess what? What? We got the video. Oh Roll God. it. <laughs> Let's see. What's the commotion going on here? That's Mariah Carey. Now's my chance to meet her. Oh, my God. Sure. Well, I'm just going to say hi, right? Okay, so when she, when she walks by, I'll just say hi. Okay. Hi, Mariah. I love you. She called me gorgeous. Oh my god. She called me gorgeous. My night. My night. Oh my god. Okay. My night is made. I'm done. <laughs> My God! Fun fact, <laughs> yes. you guys. Tell us everything. I think I was a little drunk at that moment. <gasps> you oh, I remember? I think I was lit. My my husband. <laughs> the moment we got to the party, he gave me uh, a glass of white wine. Uh -huh. But the glasses that they give you at that party, they oh. fill it all the way up mm -hmm. to the top. Yeah. I had two of those. Oh so yeah, you were lit then. I was. So I was doing, you know, an, an interview, and right. then I heard all this commotion. All the photographers going, Mariah, 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 Mariah. <laughs> And I was like, oh, it was like slow-mo. And then I saw her and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about the interview. <laughs> and then when she came by, I think she didn't hear me the first time I said hi. So then I did it again. I was like, hi, Mariah. And then she was like, oh, hi, gorgeous. And then she uh, held my hand yes. and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, go the song, I'll be there. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there. Because yeah. I was afraid when you, you know, when you just said hi to her, yeah. I thought she was just going to walk on by. Me but too. she saw you, girl. That feels good. Yeah. Yeah. That is finally so got awesome. my moment. I waited wow. years for that. Okay, but seriously, so many people can watch that and be so, and so relatable. Like, yeah. Yeah. how many of us would bug out? No matter, like... You guys sometimes see us up here and you're like, oh, yeah. they don't get it. We get so excited. Oh, Even when we have guests on the show yeah, we that do. we're huge fans of. And, and that's just so awesome to see that <laughs> that's that So you happened. know what that means, Mariah? You could come on this show. Yes. All right, yes. girl. We love you. Darling. We love you. Darling. Right here. <laughs> yes, Oh, we well, lambs. you know what? So cool. the, oh, this is a great awards time, but now there's the worst awards ad oh, of yeah. 2018. It oh. goes to the clothing retailer H&M. H&M was forced to apologize this week for posting an ad on their British online store, which featured a black child wearing a hoodie with the slogan, coolest monkey in the jungle. The ad was met with disgust and outrage from many, including singer The Weeknd, who tweeted that he was deeply offended and would no longer be working with the company in the future. The hashtag boycott H&M also began trending everywhere on social media. Following the controversy, H&M pulled the ad from their websites and issued a statement saying, in part, we're deeply sorry the picture was taken and we regret the actual print. We'll thoroughly investigate why this happened to prevent this type of mistake from happening again. Uh, this is like the fourth time that yeah. a brand has done this. I mean, now we need an international Jamal the intern, all right? <laughs> because... You know what I say? 
You need a black person. It's usually that intern that's in the corner. Y'all don't pay no attention to him. I completely to him. agree with Jamal, that. And Jamal will tell you, dude, this ain't cool. Huh. All right? Yeah, I'm but taking like it a step know. further. <laughs> Come on. I don't care what race you are. You know that that's just wrong. Well, I like, will at this say, point, we have to take it a step further than Jamal. Like, a white person should be able to look at that and be well, like, how about well, we don't? No. Uh, well, Common okay, sense. well, explain. This is the thing. I, I actually have an amazing uh, white friend who adopted a beautiful uh, black girl. And someone in her extended family came to her and was like, oh my gosh, you have the cutest little monkey. She's so cute. And she said, what? No, 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 no. You can't, you can't say that word. You know, and a lot of the times it comes out of ignorance and they're not culturally sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I gotta give it up to my friend for culturally educating yes. right. her white family member that look, listen, you can't say those words. So what I think, it's sad that we even have to do this. There should be maybe classes or courses that corporate you know, businesses yes. should take. Like, it's like, look, you can't say this word. You can't say this word. You can't say derogatory you know, uh, racial slurs or, or terms that are gonna affect people. Yes. You have to educate these people. And yeah. I think maybe sometimes they just... In the UK... They don't yeah. know. They but, say it's like they, they, but in the UK, calling a child a monkey means the child is mischievous. 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 Yes. And, what and did... calling an adult a cheeky monkey means that they're being a bit naughty. Well, so... and what this woman said, and she was American, and what she literally said to, you know, her, her family member... She said, well, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, to say okay. that because I call my child a monkey. You yes. know, my, my child is always climbing up on me. And she's like, oh, my God, my yeah. cute little monkey. I, I, love, I love my son. And sometimes they're just, they're not yeah, aware. It's not, so yeah, it's, done with it's bad cultural intention. ignorance. And I, they need to be educated. Y'all yeah. need to take responsibility yeah. in yeah. educating yourself. I'm going to stack on top of that. Yeah. It's not only ignorance. But it's actually laziness at its worst. Yeah. Here's why. When you have a global brand like H&M, there are departments and there's a process. That picture doesn't just get snapped and then it gets taken Absolutely. on there. There's a theme. There's a launch connection. Bottles are then picked. Then they place it out, lay it out, and they match up who it is. There's a stylist. There's executives there that approve the pictures. Once the pictures are selected, then they actually take it down to the next person in charge who picks out which one goes online, which one goes out in catalog, and then it's all taken to the top. This is ignorance and laziness because for a global brand like H&M, they need to be conscientious about each part that goes out and then we... Or maybe they did this on purpose. Oh. You think okay. so? Go ahead, finish, yes. finish. All, all to say, this is why we have to be careful because when it comes to clothing, I'm very conscious about ethically made, morally responsible brands. I've boycotted some brands, even like Forever 21, just because they're not responsible about the manufacturing, who they hire, the pay wage that they're taking care of in different countries. So when it comes to H&M, I, 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 I'm sorry, but it's a big fault, you guys. You, there's no excuse when it comes to the irresponsible move and all the laziness that it took to just get this picture out there and then apologize. It doesn't wash off that easy. We saw it, we see it, and we have to be responsible to just make sure that we're not walking yes. advertising. And is it obvious to me that they don't have a diverse team? You know, because obviously a person of color, especially a black person, is gonna say, nah, wait a minute. Well, I mean, yeah, this that is that ain't it. it. Jamal the intern would have helped them out. I mean, yes. you gotta have somebody around. Uh, okay, here. I have to ask an, uh, another question that I saw a lot online as well, which was, where, Where was kids? the kid's parent? Yeah. But see, okay, let me say this. You don't know the nationality of that kid. So you don't know if that kid's, you know, parent is maybe they're British, maybe, you know, we yeah. don't know that situation because a lot of people are like, what about, we're, we're looking at it from the American, American point standpoint. of view. You got to look at it from the European. worldwide point of view, in my opinion, and, that's what I think. And that's why I'm saying we are all walking advertisements right now. You guys are all advertising the brands you wear. Be careful when your kid is going exactly. out there modeling. We, we know how it, what it takes to get a manager yep. and representative. Some people don't have that. So when you're, you're, you have a kid that's out there in the field, you've got to be really responsible to do your homework and make sure to see every image they put out, make sure you approve of it, and that they're not representing something like this. Yeah, Tam was a kid star, and your mom yeah. managed you. I'm sure oh, she never would have let something that fly like no, this. No, no, no. She would have pulled me from the shoot immediately. Yeah. yeah. She would have been yeah. like, oh, no, no, no. no. That's what we're not yeah. going to do. We're not well, doing this. Yeah. Someone yeah. else
who decided to speak out against the ad was NBA superstar LeBron James, who took to Instagram and posted what he felt was a corrective version of the ad, saying, quote, H&M, you got us all wrong. When I look at this picture, I see a young king, the ruler of the world, an untouchable force that could never be denied. I love it. And a lot of people did that. A lot of people went and they, they, they remixed. They yes. remixed yes. the ad and added, like, king and took off the monkey part. And you know? I think a smart move that H&M should do is actually make a shirt like this now and give LeBron James, like, 50% of the proceeds. Sure. <laughs> sure. Maybe even 100%. Sure. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. You know. What are the people saying? Okay, we have at Beauty Butterfly said the ad is racist and insulting and disrespectful and callous and ignorant and idiotic and foolish and poorly planned and executed. There is no other way around it. Uh, you also have at Janice B said, do they really have not one person in the entire company that could have said, That's what I'm saying. maybe this is a bad See? idea. Mm -hmm. We're all kind of saying the same thing. Yeah, but I'm saying this is the fourth brand like this. We had Dove. We had, I mean, like, we can Well, count. and H&M so has thinking... record from before also talking about white models versus black models. They've uh, said some things in the past. So we've got uh, Anissa Ahmad just shouted your comment out. Where's Jamal the intern <laughs> and the uh, LMAO? <laughs> Y'all have to listen to the intern. Yes. yes. The mom would have told you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you or should be doing people this. People of color. She. Yeah, people of color. That's what it is. Yeah. Sometimes everybody. you don't have to, because this is great advertising for H&M. How many people are really going to stop shopping there? Okay. I think there's a good point. group, and, and I think that they That's can take action now. This is an opportunity <laughs> for you to take action. If you are offended, like Jeannie said, mm -hmm. you know, you want, you are walking advertising. Make sure that you rock and support uh, Companies that actually are representing something that you are, are, are proud of. Yeah. We'll see. We're, we're, we'll see. We'll next see. One. Wait till the next one. And I'm going to say, I told y'all, they doing this on purpose. But let's go. Yeah. All let's right, Lonnie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, from a young king to a future princess, royal couple Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to marry on May 19th. <laughs> and according to Us Weekly, Meghan reportedly wants to break tradition and have her mother, Doria, walk her down the aisle instead wow. of her father, Thomas. The only problem is that that's not what Megan's half-sister, Samantha, is telling people. Yesterday, uh -oh. Samantha appeared on the British morning show, Samantha The Right I. Stuff, and claimed that unless his plane crashes, ooh, Megan's dad will be there and will walk her down the aisle and that any rumor is the contrary to quote, is quote, rubbish. Wow. Megan has yet to respond to Samantha's comments. In fact, People is reporting that Samantha herself hasn't even been invited to oh, the wedding. Oh, exactly. Uh, bloop. Bye, bye, Samantha. <laughs> so, ladies, this is some royal tea. Where's your tea, Yo, Lonnie? Exactly. Well, you know, um, Prince Harry made the comment that he, she's going to finally, Megan's finally going to have the, uh, the, the family that she never had. And so once he made that statement, that's there you when go. the sister started coming in. Yeah. And she's also got, supposedly, uh, Samantha has a book coming out called The Pushy Princess. So it's Why that... is she doing this? Because she needs to make some money. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, you... She's an opportunist and she's a cornball, in my opinion. Yes. Like, go 100%. somewhere. Yes. This is not your wedding. It's your sister's wedding. We didn't even know about you. Go somewhere. I'm She's over actually her. telling on herself yes. by her actions. A real sister wouldn't do this Never. to her sister. That's why she Never. half sister. She yeah. half. Sure. And I'm sorry, there are half long sisters half sisters won't out do there. This. She's just a wax sister. Yeah. She's Isn't a that jealous crazy, sister, I think. When Maybe somebody... that's what's going on. I don't yes. know. But when somebody comes up in any way of success or happiness, you always have somebody Ugh. who's gonna try to climb and Haters. just block the light and throw some haterade on your game. Sometimes even family members. God sees you, man. Yes. Don't even don't even worry about those people. God sees you, and he will take it down. Yes. I down. Think she, oh I think but it's just jealous. like Tam said. I think she's jealous, like yeah. Lonnie just said. But it's like Tam said, you're showing your true colors. You're yeah, showing who you action, really are. So yeah. by the time your book comes out, <laughs> we already know. We already read you. <laughs> you're whack. You're, yeah. And you're just trying to get attention. But let's, you, but let's think about this. How historic would it be if Megan had her mother walk her down I the aisle? I love that. I you love know, that. Instead of, you know, because I don't know what was the relationship between her dad and her and yeah, her mom. Yeah, she's never come out and said that right. there's strain between her and her father, but obviously she's closer to her mother. And this isn't just any wedding. 
Right. This is the royal, royal wedding. wedding. Yeah. And she went from being an amazing, beautiful actress to now being a very well-known woman across yes. the globe. So she's going to be very emotional. She's going to be anxious, even though it's a beautiful day. And sometimes you just want your mama, yeah. and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah, I can't wait Because tradition is the, a, yeah, you know, yeah. the father you know, walks her down, but I love it. I, can't. I, love I think it. it's a bride's choice. It's whatever the bride wants Absolutely. to do. A lot of people were like, I didn't have my dad walk me uh, down the aisle. Uh, I walked down by myself. That's just what I wanted to do. Yeah. I was well, like, I was I'm right behind give you. Away. <laughs> yes, you were. I was right. Fixing the train. <laughs> yes, the train. <laughs> but I think it's a bright a prerogative yes. to do whatever she chooses. If she wants to walk with her mother, amazing. A father, both. You know, I had two dads, yeah. which is what my sister did. It's whatever you want to do. It's her special day, and I just can't wait to see it. We're so all excited. I for know. Oh, that is so dad. exciting. Are we gonna go? I don't think we're gonna go, Lonnie. Why not? Why? Go. Someone's I gotta have a crown. It's yeah, on the weekend. On. We're with Samantha. We didn't get invited. Oh, we didn't get invited. No, we but just, we ain't with Samantha. No, we no, can yeah, stand I'm not down with Samantha. No, I'm just saying. We could be outside, uh, you know, with the Yo, in the commoners. Oh, we yeah. said that we wanted to crash a wedding. What if we crash the royal wedding? wedding?